Thomas Aquinas was an Italian philosopher and theologian of the medieval period. He was the founder of the Thomistic School of Philosophy and Theology. The philosophy of Aquinas has exerted enormous influence on subsequent Christian theology, especially that of the Roman Catholic Church. His most important and enduring works are the Summa Theologica, in which he expounds his systematic theology of the Five Proofs, and the Summa Contra Gentiles. Aquinas was born around 1225 to a noble family in the small town of Roccasecca, Italy. His father was Count Landolf and his mother was Theodora, the Countess of Thieb. At the age of five, Aquinas began his early education at a monastery and at the age of 16, he continued his studies at the University of Naples. At Naples, Aquinas soon began to veer towards the Dominican order, much to the deep chagrin of his family who at one point seized and held him captive in an attempt to force him to toe the family line. However, after the intervention of Pope Innocent IV, he became a Dominican monk in 1242. In 1244, the promising young Aquinas was sent to study under Albertus Magnus in Cologne and then in Paris. Aquinas was characterized as a humble, simple, peace-loving man, giving to contemplation and a lover of poetry. He always maintained self-control and won over his opponents by his personality and great learning. In 1270, the Bishop of Paris issued an edict condemning a number of teachings derived from Aristotle which were then current at the university, and the teachings of Aquinas were among those targeted. The Dominican order prudently moved him to Italy while the investigations proceeded in Paris. In 1274, on the way to attend the Second Council of Lyons, Aquinas fell ill and eventually died at the nearby Sister Chen Monetary of Fossa Nova. In 1324, 50 years after Thomas Aquinas' death, Pope John XXII, in a vignan, pronounced him a saint of the Catholic Church, and his theology began its rise to prestige. In 1568, he was named a doctor of the Church. In 1879, Pope Leo VIII stated that Aquinas' theology was a definitive exposition of the Catholic doctrine. Today, he is considered by many Catholics to be the Catholic Church's greatest theologian and philosopher. Aquinas was a Christian theologian, but he was also an Aristotelian and an empiricist, and he substantially influenced these two streams of Western thought. He believed that truth becomes known through both natural revelation, meaning certain truths are available to all people through their human nature and through correct human reasoning, and supernatural revelation, meaning faith-based knowledge revealed through scripture and he was careful to separate these two elements which he saw as complementary rather than contradictory in nature. His two great works are the Summa Contra Gentiles and Summa Theologica. From his consideration of what God is not, Aquinas proposed five positive statements about the divine qualities of God. First, God is simple, without composition of parts such as body and soul or matter and form. Second, God is perfect lacking nothing. Third, God is infinite and not limited in the ways that created beings are physically, intellectually, and emotionally limited. Fourth, God is immutable, incapable of change in respect of essence and character. Fifth, God is one, such that God's essence is the same as God's existence. Aquinas believed that the existence of God is neither self-evident nor beyond proof. In the Summa Theologica, he details five rational proofs for the existence of God. The first argument is the argument of the unmoved mover. The second is the argument of the first cause. The third is the argument from contingency. And fourth, the argument from degree. And last but not the least is the theological argument or the argument from the sign. Aquinas believed that Jesus Christ was truly divine and not simply a human being or God merely inhabiting the body of Christ. However, he held that Christ had a truly rational human soul as well, producing a duality of natures that persisted even after the Incarnation, and that these two natures existed simultaneously yet distinguishable in one real human body. Aquinas defined the four cardinal virtues as prudence, temperance, justice, and fortitude which he held are natural and binding on everyone. In addition, there are three teleological virtues described as faith, hope, and charity, which are supernatural and are distinct from other virtues in that their object is God. 
Furthermore, he distinguished four kinds of law, eternal law, natural law, human law, and divine law.